Hey guys, um, T Painter here, or previously Ramshot. Um, I was kind of considering doing a return to the channel video, but then kind of realized that it would just be kind of me talking and kind of going over, kind of giving me excuses of why I've been gone. The reason I've been gone is I haven't actually just, I've filmed a few videos, but I'm published them because when I was painting, I just didn't feel like recording and it kept me kind of focused on one thing and that's not really how I paint, I kind of dance around with stuff. But um, so yeah, it's been a, a year since the last full long video. It's been probably eight, seven, eight months since the last short. I did a couple in October time, which were fine. But um, first I'll say, I don't even know if I've done, we hit a, over a hundred subscribers since the last long video, which is absolutely crazy that even while I wasn't doing videos, the how to paint gold, I think that's over 5,000 views. And I just want to say thank you so much for that. It's incredible. I never thought that any of my videos would get like as big as that. Uh, since I've recorded, I've bought way too many models. I think I've gained upwards of 300 models. So Roads Here Grey is probably going to stop. Might rebrand it. And there will this, this still be that sort of hobby update video coming back. I do plan on staying for a bit instead of, you know, disappearing again. So, what I want to do today, just to have a bit of comments video, is re reviewing the new Pike and Shot Epic Battles Infantry Spruce. So I got this in a War Games Illustrated. Um, I got this two days ago. And I have cut them off. I began painting one of the guys pushing Pike. But I haven't painted the rest, and I wanted to go over the models, just to give you a bit of... I'm sure a lot of people have done them. I just want to give gave you my take. Um, since the last video, I've actually gone to 28mm pike and shot. I've bought the infantry and the cavalry regiments, which are very nice models. And I've really started focusing on a lot of historicals. I'm still doing 40k stuff, still playing games, not buying as much, more painting. But historicals and fantasy is really where I'm enjoying the moment. So first of all, um, let's get into the reviews. Starting off with the pikemen, these are not glued to the bases, and the magazine doesn't come with these. You have to use your own bases. I got these because I had spares from the another issue of Board Games Illustrated, which came with the French Epic Battles Cavalry. So first of all, this is the first pike block. Uh, they seem to have coats. These aren't, they do all helmeted, different styles. Very, very good detailing. The faces are a little shallow, but that's where you can get from the scale. The pikes, I believe, are slightly thicker than they should be, but if you did scale down, it'd be just did snap. They are pretty similar to the pikes from the war or the 20 millimeter stuff. They did have warnings that these could get damaged in shipping. I've had none of these bent or damaged. Uh, so the sprue connections are good. They have two at the bottom, which are also here where you can get the base. I have not cleaned this mold line because it's putting on the base, you'll never see it. And uh, there's a sprue connection here and here, so it's not awful, and these are pretty easy to clean off. It's not like getting one of your pipe where you're risking, you know, cutting a big lump of your pike. Pike heads are all, you know, they're all slightly uneven, but again, you know, that's what you're going to expect. You're not going to get perfect lines of men holding the same. Um, but yeah, honestly, you have varied poses of how they're holding. Some people are holding it, you know, with their arm down. So there, I'm up. It's in, it's not like one on one on one on one. It's kind of a mixed order. A very nice kit indeed. And um, there is another set of pikemen. These lads are a bit more mixed. We got a couple of more armor. Same helmets though. Same variety of poses, but you can see that this one has armor poses. These might be further forward because they'll need the armor. So she, I can't remember the name though. Leg guards, I'm sure someone will say in the comments, correct me, but because they'll be taking the cavalry charges and the blades. So, those are the two pink sprues you get in the box. You get three sprues, I think, like maybe some cannons, or maybe that's just a cavalry box. So, this sprue that I got had just the infantry. So, with those two, our next sprue is the command sprue. This has so it's six standard pikemen, all of them wouldn't. No armor, he these don't come with armor. Then we've got two standard bears, which you can attach flags to very small poles. So, and the flags I believe the flags do come in the box, but again, the flags in here. You got a musician, and then we have a 
commanding officer. So, very nice hat, the drums. Actually, very nice, definitely the drums. The drum sets come up very well, nicely. Woo. Look at the back. All swords, and she's forgot to show the back of these. This row has all swords. If this row is the same, yes. Very nice, crisp detailing. Good from Warlord. I, the, there's a hole in those, but you're not gonna get that at this scale. And yes, those are the three main pike spruce. Next onto the shot, we have, there's two different poses, which I do like. There's two at rest. Um, what this one has uh, an to left hand or high ranking all of them holding their musket rest and holding now the musket does you have to, you'll have to expand, but the musket does go very deep into the sculpt so it is a little inaccurate but again ha the variety of hats and look at the back they've got the big sash well sash so, and the swords and Albert on the left. It looks like a very right spruce. So each of these spruce is a 10. This one's much the same, just the right of hats, so it's a helmet. And the other pose, if I can't see, is at March. There's no commander for this group. Just 20 guys, pretty similar, heavily geared up, got their bags. A very nice detail. So those are the lines, but there's uh, 10 more individual pikemen pushing pikes. So here's one that I haven't painted. Um, they do have the bag thing. Pikes very well sculpted, got no breaks on these. And then here's one I've got worth painting. These guys all have a bit more armaments because they'll be at the very front. I'm painting my, this as a the um, Philip Skippins regiment. So that is a, it was raised in London, I believe, I fought in Essex Army. Uh, so overall, uh, it'd be nice if they include the bases in the kit, or not get the magazine. They did say they can't have the shipping restraints, but they've already done that before, just a year prior in the Napoleonic Spruce, which is a much more packed and heavy spruce. So I'll, I don't think they're trying to skimp out on it. I don't think they'd there's no malicious intent behind it, but it would have been a lot nicer to have the um, bases included, because I did have to change my base around my cavalry. So they sit quite nicely into two rows in these bases, which I quite like. Uh, you'll have to paint them separately. They will paint up quite nicely, as there's quite a lot, there's less model to paint, because you know, these arms are screwed. But overall, that's my thoughts on the Python Shots Brew. I will definitely be painting these up, possibly do a video on how to paint the regiment. Um, I'll be found the war images on the World Games website and the booklets from the 28mm kit. Um, but overall, I am very happy with this. Uh, I believe that I will definitely be purchasing more of the infantry boxes. And honestly, if you didn't attach flags, you could definitely use it for 30 years war, which I might do if I don't, or how it may be, possibly have detachable flags. Um, if the epic pike and shot interests you, let me know in the comments below because I'll be very happy to make more content on it. And thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.